Hey, son, you got a minute? You've been spending a lot of time on that computer lately, and I think it's best we have a chat about internet safety. Put down your game. It'll still be there when I'm done. It won't take too long, right? No, I just want to tell you a little story. Oh, God. Is this going to be another one of those cheesy, scary stories? I thought you liked my cautionary tales. Yeah, when I was six. They don't scare me anymore, though. Honestly, they've gotten kind of lame. Maybe I'm not as good of a storyteller as I thought. Tell you what, let me try one more time. One more scary story attempt. <sighs> Fine. A few years back, there was a boy named Colby. Colby, like you, went online and joined several websites. After a while, he started talking to other kids on the message boards. He made friends with another boy named Helper23. They liked the same video games, television shows, laughed at each other's jokes, and before long, were very close friends. After several months of friendship, Colby gave Helper23 six diamonds in a game they were playing. This was a very generous gift, and Helper23 wanted to return the favor by sending Colby a cool present in real life. Now, Colby, who'd come to trust and respect Helper23, figured it wouldn't hurt to give away his home address, as long as he promised not to tell it to any strangers or grown-ups. Helper23 swore he wouldn't tell anyone else, not even his own parents, and set about mailing the package. Now, do you think that was a good idea? Well, neither did Colby. He felt extremely guilty about giving away his address, and his guilt began to grow and grow. Hey Dad, I've got something I need to tell you. Yes, son? Dad? Dad? Are, are you okay? Yup. Is, is Mom around? Here I am. Were you about to tell us you gave our home address to Helper 23? You shouldn't have done that. We told you never to give out personal information on the internet. He wasn't really a kid. He just pretended to be one. Do you know what he did? He came to our house, broke in and murdered both of us. <laughs> just so he could spend some time with you.
It's okay, little guy. I'm here now. I'm gonna take care of you from here on out. Hmm. But you need a name, don't you? How does... William sound? You like that? Dad? Hey, look at the time. You, sir, need to get to bed. I didn't realize I've been rambling on like that this whole time. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, William.